Okay, so now we're going to start the turkey. Remove the giblets. And now I'm going to rub the inside with salt. Uh oh, some kind of on the outside. rub the inside of the neck with it too. Don't ask me why. I don't know these things. Okay, that's that. Consider it rubbed. And then you take your stuffing, which is over here, which has been sitting for so long, at least five minutes, you put cornstarch in it? No, I just put it out of the packet. Lots of chemicals to keep you artificially alive for your mm -hmm. entire life. I'm excited. You what? I'm excited to be artificially alive. I know. Daddy's artificially alive too. Man, I am almost just artificially alive. Okay, so we take it and we... First we put the turkey on here. This is my makeshift thing. And we are going to put the lifter underneath it like that. You know, all my cupboards and counters and everything, I still don't have very much room in it. I've got that long one, but it's over there. Okay, so we're going to... Take our stuffing and we stuff it loosely. You don't want to stuff it till it's packed all the way full because then if it adds moisture, I mean if it soaks up and gets fat, which it will, it will soak up your juices of your turkey and then it'll explode and crack and it'll be all over your container. Hey Mal! Good morning! So that one, I guess, is... Okay. It's full up. We cross the leg and we put it back in this little thing. Now you could actually stuff it with anything you want. Food-wise, I wouldn't try putting Lego in it or anything. And then you can stuff this side, which you usually do from the other side, but that would have been, like, complicated. This is the evil bitey kitty. Is he going to bite me? No, I don't unless you touch him. But he doesn't necessarily bite. He can bite all the time. I had nightmares of being attacked by kitties and snakes. Oh no. And dogs. Okay, there it is. And then it was like a nightmare come true because then kitty was outside my door meowing. That's why you were dreaming about him. He was meowing. He wanted to come and use his outhouse. His outhouse box is in your room. Okay, now we're going to close them up. I thought it was hungry for flesh. You want to see if you make it touch the skin, right? You what? You must have some air in there. You want to touch the skin. Right? Well. I think you take it apart at the very end and let some air in. Otherwise, it's going to get dry. This lets it sort of steam. Except, of course, the juice is going to sneak out and fall on the bottom of the stove. Okay, there it is. Oh, 
and now we will put it in the oven. Don't want you to be pot to put it in. What? Oh, it's in the tray. Okay. We don't have a big pot. Where is my? Not even the big turkey tray. No, I it don't have it anymore. Like an oversized aspirin pill that comes. Out. Mm -hmm. On the bottom rack. Hopefully there'll still be room on the top rack for a pie. No, there won't. I'm gonna have to put it on the second to the bottom rack. I may need you to lift this. I definitely need you to lift this. The man is here to lift it. To mine. There it is, and then you close the oven, and then you can go back to bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay.